Hi, good afternoon. This is Mike with Lakeshore RV, and today we're going to congratulate the Van Dykes on their purchase of a brand new 2022 2100 rear bath by MPG. We'll start over up here. You got your power jack, you push a button, this will raise and lower it. Two 20 pound propane tanks, so those are full and ready to go. And we got a new battery in there for you. It also has a cool decorative lighting on the front, as well as automotive paint so it doesn't fade. The walls are Asdell, so they're composite, so essentially they're waterproof. Great big storage doors. And then again, if you look, it's got the largest storage doors in the industry, as well as the biggest entry doors. Uh, power jacks all around, so once you back into your campsite, you push a button, drop the jacks down, and that'll keep everything stable for you. Full length, 20 foot awning, outside speakers. Here's your tank fill. So if you get in a situation where you don't have water, you stick the hose in there, you fill your tank up, you take all that water with you. There's a spot for TV hookups on the outside. So if you'd like to watch TV outside, for sure you can do that. It's got the extra wide and more wide steps. Then you got your sewer dump in the back here. So what you want to do is hook your hose up, pull the gate valve in the back first. That'll dump the black tank. Once it's dumped, you'll come over here and that bottom connection is for flushing out the black tank. So dump the tank, hook a hose up, let it run for a few minutes and it'll clean that system up for you. Shut the hose off, close the black, you're all done with the flush out. Pull the gray, that's bathroom sink and shower water and that'll kind of rinse everything out for you. And then moving along, trailer's 30 amps your hookups are here if you get to the campground you have cable or satellite hook them here appropriately quick connection for an outside uh, water hose city water so if you got water at the campground you want to thread right onto the city water and you'll run right off the pressure from the hose so you got to pass through storage also a great big light bar in here, so that really lights this big storage area up. As you can see, it's aluminum framing, strong, it's lightweight. Let's take a look inside. So as you walk into the door here, um, this panel over to the right, it's the monitor panel. It's gonna monitor the battery level. Fresh tank, black water, and gray water. So as these fill up, you know, empty one third, two thirds and full. So that'll let you know how full your tanks are. Water pump is for the fresh water tank. So if you're hooked up to the city, you don't need it. But if you're connected or if you're filling the tank up, you turn the pump on and that pressurizes the lines. Propane switch for the water heater, electric switch for the water heater. And then these are lights, they're labeled. Cap light, awning lights. There's a security light on the far side. Battery disconnect. On and extend retract. And then you got your slide room in and out. So with the slide, really you just want to make sure you didn't leave nothing that could get in the way. And so once you're clear there, hit the button, bring the awning in. One key fits all the locks, so there's your key. You got a table that will connect right here. So great use of space on a smaller camper. You throw your recliners in here. You can add the table, not add the table. So again, in a small space, it's really a great idea. King size bed. You got bar stools here, so you can also eat right at the counter. You can install a TV there if you'd like to do that. There's a cool little cubby. You can plug your phone in, whatever. 11 cubic foot refrigerator. So really good size fridge and freezer as well. Here's your travel lock. Well, here's your heating and cooling. So this will run the air conditioner, the furnace, and then you have a fan and you can just circulate air if you like to do that. Nice full size shower. Storage underneath the bathroom sink. And there's also a built-in medicine cabinet here.
And then this one also has a nice tall ceiling. It's 6'11 on the interior height. So it makes it feel really roomy. Also has dual ducting for the ACs. So it's got great AC flow. And if you have any other questions, uh, please give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Uh, my name is Mike with Lakeshore RV. My number is 231-855-9998.